What's up everybody, it's French Freezy here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a PC. This is my first time building a PC by myself, so it can give you a really good idea to see how does it look like and feel like to build a PC by yourself for the first time. My budget is a thousand US dollars including a monitor and tax, so it will be realistic for the budget gamers like you who are going to build one. I built this PC during the pandemic, so it's quite challenging. PC parts are in shortage all the time, so I always have to keep an eye on the internet to snatch the perfect deals. And it took forever to ship the parts. Let's take a look at the parts that we're going to use in this build. First, we are using the best bang for your buck AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, the 3600. It's a 6 core 12 thread processor. We all know how good it is if you are into PC parts. Second, we are using the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. It is one of the best B450 motherboards out there. For the RAM, we are opting for the Team T4 Delta RGB 16GB DDR4 3200MHz CL16 RAM. It is not the best looking RGB RAM, but it is a decent one for the price. Thirdly, we are using Team Green in this build. The EVGA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. We will take advantage of the NVMe M.2 slot on the motherboard. We are going to use the Western Digital Blue SM550 500GB NVMe SSD. For the power supply, we got a trusty Corsair CX550 Watts AT Plus Bronze Certified ATX Power Supply. I want a simple and clean case to wrap up the build, so I chose the NZXT H510 ATX mid tower case. And last but not least, unfortunately, we cheap out the monitor due to the budget cap. It is the Acer SB220Q by 21.5 inch Full HD 75Hz monitor. It is an insanely popular monitor due to its price. So we've got all the parts we need. Let's get started. First of all, take your motherboard and the IO shield and set the cable out from the box. Place it carefully on the box. The box will be a test bench for you. Lift up the retention arm. Hold the CPU by the edges. Identify the gold triangle and align it on the socket. Place it into the socket. No forces are required. Give it a little wiggle. Lower the arm. Then, remove the bracket from the motherboard. Install the CPU cooler. We are using the stock cooler that came with the CPU. Screw them lightly and tighten them down in a cross pattern. Lift up the cooler to check if it is secure. With CPU and cooler installed, we can plug in our CPU fan. 
Here, I tied a loose knot to shorten the cable. Then you can plug in the CPU fan. Pull back the second and fourth RAM slot. Line it up and press firmly until you hear a distinct click and see the tab snap back One, into two, place. Three. Repeat the same procedure for the second RAM. One, two, three. Then slide down the SSD and push down the other end. Fasten the included screw. Then we have to assemble our monitor. Here's a really quick video to show it is really easy to put them together because of its toolless design. Before we put it all the hardware in the case, it is recommended to check if the system posts or outputs to the display. So plug in your graphics card and power supply to the motherboard. Then use the screwdriver to shut out the power pins. Unfortunately, I did not have the footage due to technical issues. I will put a link in the description if you need more info about that. As you can see, my PC posts and it shows all the information correctly. Perfect. Let's move on and put the IO shield in place. Gently put down the motherboard on the ATX standoffs. Fasten the 6 M3 screws. Now it's a really good time to connect all the front panel switches right now. As you can see, we have connectors for audio, power switch, SATA and USB connectors. Slide the power supply unit into the back of the case. Secure it with four screws. For the graphics card, start by removing these two PCI slot covers. Open the tab. Align your graphics card into the PCIe slot. Push firmly until the tab shuts. Put the screw back in. Now plug in all the power connectors that the PC needs. Run the 8 pin connector behind the motherboard tray and plug in here. Run the 24 pin connectors and plug in here. Also run the single 8 pin PCIe cable and plug in here. Push firmly until they click. We are close to the finish line. The last thing we have to deal with is cable management. So this is the 24 pin cable. Well, NCXT did a really good job in cable management. They provide velcro strips and trenches for you to hold the cable in place. Use the cable tie to pin everything down so you can close the back panel easily. Put all the loose cables in this compartment. And that's it! The build is done! You can close the case panels now. The moment of truth. The moment of truth.
We will have to install Windows and the latest drivers for chipset, audio, GPU drivers, etc. to get it working. But we will talk about that in another video. With that said, let's fire up my favorite game to see how it performs. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.